to Floyd Models kit review time. Today we've got tape. Now we're looking at Tamiya tape. Now Tamiya tape itself isn't the cheapest thing on the market and especially if you're like me and you mask everything up and chuck it all over it, you can go through it quite quickly and it gets very expensive. Now we all know that the actual uh, tape that Tamiya use is this uh, Kamui tape. Uh, it's really good because it's it sort of does everything you need to do as a modeler. It masks extremely well. It's very, very sharp edge, so you get nice clean edges as using it, especially the smaller sizes, 40 mil, not as much so, but as soon as you're using basically the six, the 10, or is it the 18 mil, no problem at all with it. Okay, um, it's quite flexible. You can stretch it to a certain extent, okay, and everything else. It peels away easily. You don't tend to tear your paint with it unless it's a really dodgy paint and all the rest of it. So it's a safe tape to use. And also it's long lasting. So when you put it down on your model, you can mask it up and leave it without the risk of it peeling off. Now, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, Frog Tape came on the market which it sort of everybody was immediately jumping on it thinking it was just like Tamiya tape. It seemed to have all the properties we needed, but it had one complete flaw. And that is after sort of 12, 24 hours, it tends to peel off. I've masked canopies with it, looked fantastic. Come back a couple of hours later, the curl edges all peeled up and everything else like that. So it doesn't have the, the body and the glue and everything else you find in Tamiya tape. So you sort of go back to Tamiya tape and you make your way through and everything else. Now, washi tape, which is um, I think a Japanese uh, thing, started its life off really as a craft product. And um, my partner will testify, because she has it, as I've now found out after we got some in, um, that you can actually use it for paper craft, things like that. It's great for doing uh, mounts uh, with paper, um, out borders, things like that uh, in the craft world. And it's been used for many, many years. Uh, the great thing with it, it peels off cleanly off of paper and all the rest of it. Um, so Sunbright Spark has suddenly done the thing of saying, that's really like Tamiya tape again, and done a bit of you know background check on it and all the rest of it. And it looks like it is the same stuff. There can't be that many places, as Biz told by me, in Japan, that makes this stuff. Because let's face it, it's not gonna be one of those things where there's 20 companies all making slightly different versions. Chances are they're all coming out of one factory. So what you've got at the top here is your traditional Tamiya tape, 40 mil, mainstay stuff as you can see just down like that you've got your 18 and we've got the 10s here and obviously you've got the six the thin one and all the rest of it down here we've got the washi tape now the washi tape comes in a box set in various thicknesses so we've got six mil i think this is 18 okay um yeah well actually maybe a little bit less perhaps this is probably 15 mil okay and in different colors all right what we want to know is how it works okay now to be honest uh you guys who follow me day to day on the vlog know that i when this stuff came in last week i stuck it over this everywhere wrapped it around in everything before it went into proper color paint when it was just white just to see how it was came back on monday and it was absolutely fine um, it had no curl ups and everything else. So I left it on there for another couple of days before we got this into paint. And I have to say that this stuff, when it sticks down, I trust it implicably. So we'll just grab a little bit of this nice pink. Um, that when you stick it onto your model, it will stay exactly where it is and it's not gonna peel, which is a good thing because as I say, frog tape, the cheaper ones, what tends to happen, they lift off, okay? The other thing as well is when you do peel this away, it comes away, it's got quite a bit of bite to it, but it has always come away cleanly. I've done this on different models and different tests and everything else, and I've yet to find it, take paint with it, okay? Even metallics and things like that, um, obviously you get the metallic residue off of here, but it's never stripped the paint off completely. The one thing you notice is when you peel it off the roll like this, it comes off of itself extremely easy, even easier than Tamiya tape. Tamiya tape, when you send to get a hold of it, we've got one open. Uh, it tends to be very smooth in its nature as it comes away, okay? Where this stuff tends to just really come away very, very easy. It doesn't seem to have as much grip, which would worry me, but actually I've done the testing in it and it's been down four or five days and it hasn't let me down yet. It goes down really well. It tears extremely easy. It is like paper. It's got very good properties of the actual handling it. It seems to keep its you know stickiness as it makes its way down. It's certainly reusable because you can put it down as you can see. You can probably hear it. It still grips time after time after time. And I know I'm being a bit horrible to it now. Okay, but you can probably hear, I think you could use this stuff 20, 30 times if you're doing it. So if you were doing multiple masking areas, i.e. you were going down, putting in on aircraft panel, something else like that, you could just whip it off, put it down in the next area, spray it, whip it off, put it down, and away you go everywhere like that. 
The main test for it though is how it actually works with flooding as I call it. Now flooding is when you're airbrushing and the Tamiya tape gets extremely wet sometimes it can physically leach underneath okay that's just where the pa the actual paper is absorbing now the material in. Now Tamiya tape the great thing about it if you look at it it has that sort of waxy look to it it's trying to repel everything from it. This stuff as you can see is a lot more flat Okay, it's not as shiny as the Tamiya one, which does worry me. So what I thought we could do is just a little quick test just to see how this is actually gonna work. So what we do is we're gonna grab a little bit of the this stuff, and you can hear how easily this just peels away from itself, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put this down, and we'll just stick that down, and for comparison, let's just have a little bit of Tamiya. Okay, what we're gonna do with the Tamiya is just stick it in amongst it all. Okay, we put this down and we we'll go in and let's have a couple more little colours. Which colours have we used on this? Have we go with the blue? Okay. So let's just try that. I'm just gonna put some of that down here. Okay, and I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just try a bit of a bend with it. just to see how well this will stretch and conform around on itself. So if we do a curve that way and then a curve that way, just to see. Okay, just down in there and just for comparison, should have got the actual six mil, it's not six mil. Okay, so let's just try and do something. Okay, see, so yeah, and that's torn a little bit, but then it is a little bit of a sharper angle. Okay, so that's down there like that. Just going to shift this out of the way because I don't want to cover it in rubbish. We are just going to grab a little bit of paper towel because we're going to just do it down on here. Okay, just going to save my cutting mat, the good one. <clears throat> Right, so what we're going to do is, I'm just going to do a standard type of spray down into this. So what I'm going to do is we want a uh, something that isn't going to destroy the bank here. Um, I think with all my colours on airbrushes. Okay, so we've got this here and we're just going to grab, what have we got? Uh, uh, sorry, I'm just looking for my normal black. Where is my normal black? Oh, blank note. <clears throat> I think I've got tons of this stuff, but can't seem to find it. Okay, what we do is we just grab this one. Hopefully, we've got some paint in here. Not really. Tell I do this live, can't you? Uh, where is all my plaques? I've got like 30 paints of bottles of black everywhere, and I can't find one. Just to be all quick, we'll do it in green. Okay, so down here we've just got some Olive Drab uh, XF uh, 62. This is a brand new bottle, and I'm going to do two halves. We're going to do neat, as I would normally do if I'm getting near masking stuff, so I want it to be nice and thick. And then we're going to do a 50-50 thin mix, just to see how this stands up. Okay. So, just to start with, just a bit of paint. Not going to need tons of it. So what we're going to do is just going to spray as I would normally. Okay. And we're gonna go over the tape as well because I wanna know how it goes. Now the point of doing it dry, uh, and this is how I tend to do my work if I'm working up to tape, because that way it's not gonna leach in. Okay, so we're just gonna come off here. And now we're gonna go in quite heavy. Thanks, Phil. All right, so that's that one done just down there like that. I am gonna hit the extractor, just because it will get smoky in here. Okay, a little bit of X20A, 50-50 mix, standard type of Tamiya mix for me. Okay. Brush. Up. 
Right. So you can hear probably and see, comes through a lot quicker. Now don't take any notice of this end because it's raised. Okay, but this is, as you can see, very wet. And to be honest, we're going for the extreme. So we're going to flood it. And I'm trying to keep it as even against all of them as possible. say flooded, very wet, to be your worst nightmare for really doing it. Okay. Okay. I'll do it just like that. Popping the tops on. Okay, and now with the power of a hairdryer and editing, we'll just get this dried off. Okay, there we go. So, as you can see, normal thing, no problem at all, um, you know, right the way through. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the Tanya tape just to see what we've got. Okay, so we're just gonna be as I normally would. And as you can see, forget that end as we know it had the thing. You can see it's a beautiful, clean, crisp line. We've got no leaching underneath that I can see, okay, anywhere. Actually, we've got a tiny little bit maybe down in here. This is probably where it hasn't been pushed down properly, but as you can see from the torn edge, it is extremely clean and sharp, okay? So next up, we're just gonna try the, this is where we did our wiggly line, okay? And again, we take no real notice of this up here because that's where it tore, okay, and everything else. But we're looking at the outer line, we're seeing how it's stretching around. Again, clean, crisp, no leach through or anything else like that, okay? So that's the two Tamiya ones. So now what we're gonna do is have a go on this one. So, first thing you notice is when you try and peel this stuff off, it's got real good bite, okay? Okay, again, very nice, clean, crisp. We've got one little mark there. So I don't know how well you can see that one. That's a tiny little bit there. Now this end, as we know, is the wet end. This is the dry end. I'd expect to have nothing leaching through on this end at all. Up here is where we're gonna get it. And we have got some very small little distortions just down in the edge. Now it's the one thing I've noticed with washi tape is that it's not as cleanly cut on the ends. Okay, so when you look at these, you often get, you might be able to see it here, we've got a little dent in it and things like that. I think that the quality of how these are, perhaps when they're cut and handled and thrown around, knocked against each other, it can cause you little problems. Tamiya tape, when you look at it, is extremely flat, very nice all the way round. Okay, and normally you wouldn't do what I do and get them out before you're gonna put them into a holder, because otherwise it picks up dust, dirt, and you can probably see all the parts all around here, washi tape, because it's all bundled together does tend to get it what I would recommend is with this stuff popping it into like a ziplock bag or something else once you finish with it it will just stop it from one drying out the edges and also picking up all the dirt and bits and horrible nasties okay so what we're going to do now is just going to flip it under here and just pop around Okay, and as we can see, we've got no problems with it again. Again, take no in no notice of the inside because it's puckering up where we've gone, but it's got a nice good curve to it and it hasn't leached through at all anywhere. Okay, so that is all absolutely fantastic. And our last piece, which is our blue bit at the top. If I can get it. Again. Perfect, no bleed through really at all. Again, I'm, if there's just one part, I'm sort of forgiving it because I can't imagine uh, it's everywhere. 
Again, if you look at it very, very fine, you can see little tiny hairs and things on this edge. Okay, and I've noticed it's in the dry as well as the wet. Again, I'm thinking it's where this stuff is being knocked and it's not as clean and everything else. And you might notice on here, again, it's got bits and pieces all stuck to it. So I think what's happening is those bits are allowing bits to get in there. My recommendation would be is as soon as your stuff arrives, it's a separate bag it and keep it all in, you know, even if you're just hanging a Ziploc bag up and have them hanging up, I wouldn't have your best masking tape just sat up on a roll because it is going to get bits stick to it. And when they stick to it, let's say a good example on here, we've got white bits of that's plastic even on there and the black bits on here and all the rest of it. Really, you don't want those because it's going to affect on your edging. As far as my test for stickability, if you like, i.e. how long it lasts on your model, five days, no problem at all. I've seen this stuff used, to be honest, as you know, my partner, she does it, um, has had it stuck in her books for years. It doesn't peel and lift like your traditional, let's say cheaper masking tapes or more um, uh, paint-based masking tapes, perhaps from, you know, bigger, you know, mainstream paint, all right? So from that point of view, it works exactly the same. Stickiness, it's different. It's got a lot more bite to it than the actual standard Tamiya tape. So I don't think this is just a different color Tamiya tape. It's definitely not the same, but it works exactly the same. Okay, so for the price, uh, and that's assuming because if this comes in a box set and all the rest of it, I think it's around about two quid a box uh, for an entire box set, which you get a lot more than I've got here with it. Okay, and I'll post up details and links to it down below. All right, but generally, I have to say, in all my tests as I've used it here and in anger as well, because to be honest, I have used it, I've used it a little bit on the airliner uh, and things like that when I was doing some tidy up work, I had no problem with it at all. I have every confidence in it. My main worry was doing this test which i've done live with you was i thought this stuff might start to leak okay and we had that very wet down there as you know i thought it might leach into it because it hasn't got the sort of the waxiness and the repellent that obviously normal tamiya tape has and all the rest of it but i do have to say if you are doing a side-by-side -side comparison of these tapes from a usage point of view i can't tell any difference between the two as i say my only concern is is the edges they don't seem to be as clean and crisp and everything else but from a side-by-side -side comparison i can see no difference whatsoever so again two this week highly recommended